What was that moment like for you? Um, like I was saying uh, in the locker room last year, I didn't really get to get one. I was the only one in the the group that didn't get an interception last year. So I feel like this year was I was like the main emphasis. Like okay, I gotta get my hand on that ball. So um, yeah, now it's time to stack even more. So. How have you and Will kind of helped each other? You know, still vying for, I guess, the quote unquote starting safety role, but right. you guys seem like you're working together. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's like everybody has to be ready to go out there and play, just like what happened in this game. Um, there is no like all like hating on or whatever. Like we make sure everybody's on the same page and make sure like we're all treating each other with the same type, you know, type of treatment, you know, because nobody's ever bigger than the other one. So. Um, I feel like that's a big thing, especially in our room, even with our corners and, and our coaches as well. So, DA talks a lot about how you just seem like you're playing a little more free this year, mm -hmm. not thinking about things too much. Yeah. How did you show that on Sunday? Um, basically, like I said, by getting that ball, you know, not just looking at the routes, looking at the QB, because I already know what I got to do for my assignment on that call. Um, like I said, just being in the right place and then the right timing. So just go out there and just make plays and be able to just play the sport that I love, so. Before you, yesterday, what was your last pick like in, in college, do you remember? Uh, it was my senior year, it was like a, uh, it was like a diving catch, um, my senior year, so. Um, that was like the last one I had, I think, I believe, so. No, no, actually I had, no, I had two that year, on my senior year, and yeah, that was the last one, so I didn't get one last year, so like I said, that was my main emphasis, again, being part of the group of being the interception this year, so. Did they give you a hard time about it? Being the only one that didn't have one. Oh, for sure. What well, every like even every game like when I was close to getting one last year, they're like, "See, you got no hands and stuff like that." But even, even though I played like six games with a with a cast on, so that was a big thing as well. So, yeah. Yeah, you literally didn't have one. Eight, like literally, yeah. So, <laughs> like basically every time the ball hit my hand, it would yeah. just bounce off, and that was yeah, that was stressful for sure. So. Coming into year two, you know, getting that first game behind you, how much more comfortable, confident are you now in yourself? Oh yeah, you get you get all them jitters out, you know. Especially like, the I feel like the first drive, you're like, okay, now I got it out the way. Now I can just go out there and just fly around and have fun, um, you know. And that goes with the, uh, uh, preparation, like during the week. So, like you were saying, with me and Will and uh, Ty, we you know we get together, um, just go over the plays. What do we see? Uh, what you what do you think we can do to make the quarterback throw here? Things of that sort. So, yeah. Jordan, obviously, kind of like a case study of of how you respond. I mean, Will was the one who got the starting nod after you guys had yeah. competed, and then an opportunity came pretty quickly for you to make a play anyway. So, mm -hmm. I mean, what was your mindset going in? Um, you know, um, like, there is, there's never no shame. You know, when, our, when our teammate makes a play, we all celebrate as a team. Um, that was a big play by Will, and it set the tone for the, the defense in the year. Um, you know, and then with Ty, with his uh, forced fumble, and then for me to get um, my interception and Tay to get all three of his sacks, you know, everybody's eating. So, um, you know, just seeing every level, especially with our D line getting to the quarterback, and you know, that was the big thing. That's what we're the big, the big thing was that's what made us get the big play. That's really what it was. I'm kind of a sorry, non football question. I know you're from the West Coast and you went to school in Minnesota, mm -hmm. kind of a weather difference there. There's a storm in the Gulf coming this way. Obviously, the Saints do a good job of preparing for that. Did like family and friends call you and say, "Are you safe? Are you okay?" Never uh, having dealt with that. Literally, the only one that does that is my mom. She's the only one. I'd be like, "Mom, we're good. Trust." Like this, I've been in pretty much every climate. I've been dry heat. And I've been in very cold. Now I'm in humid. So, um, been in different disasters. I don't know exactly what um, I've been to a, a snow winter, a winter storm. I get earthquakes on the West Coast and then uh, floods and all the other stuff over here. So, <laughs> you you mentioned Tay getting the three sacks. Mm -hmm. Just what does that say about maybe his versatility and his uh, full skill set? Um, yeah, you know Tay can do everything. You know we can put him on corner, they go blitz him. Um, you know just seeing what he come from from last year, especially when he first got here his rookie year, and then from last year to this year, it's a totally different dude. Um, he's just embracing his role, and like I said, and he's just flying around and doing his job. So, how crazy is that? He's the NFL sack leader right now. Yeah, that, honestly, I didn't know that was. I, that's crazy. That's a that's a uh, that's a crazy stat, and uh, we will celebrate that today in the media room. Um, proud of him, and he's gonna make many more this year. So.